Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this semicircle has been divided into two parts. One is the green one, and the other one is a red shaded region. And moreover, the diameter of this uh, semicircle uh, AB is uh, 12 units, and the angle uh, ABC is uh, 30 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. We know that the diameter AB of this uh, semicircle is uh, 12 units. Then the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle, let me label this one as a lowercase r is going to be half of the diameter, that is going to be 6 uh, units. And here's our next step, I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that this uh, OC is the radius of this uh, semicircle, and we know the radius is 6, so therefore uh, this uh, OC length is going to be 6 and likewise uh, this uh, OB length uh, is going to be 6 since this is a radius and likewise uh, OA length is going to be 6 as well since this is radius uh, as well and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, OBC and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side uh, OC is equal to this uh, side OB and since uh, this triangle is an isosceles triangle so therefore uh, this angle uh, BCO is going to be 30 degrees uh, as well and let's focus once again on this uh, triangle OBC since this angle is 30 degrees uh, this angle is 30 degrees uh, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 120 degrees since the sum of all these three angles must be equal to 180 degrees and furthermore uh, we know that this whole straight angle is uh, 180 degrees and this angle is 120 degrees so therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be 60 degrees and now I am going to show you the very first method and since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, red shaded region and now let's make an observation as we can see in this uh, given equation the red shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the semicircle minus uh, the green shaded area and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and also the area of this uh, green shaded region as well and furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the sector AOC. We are talking about this uh, sector AOC plus the area of the triangle OBC. We are talking about uh, this uh, whole uh, triangle. As you can see in this given equation, so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this sector AOC and the area of this uh, triangle uh, OBC as well in order to get the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region. And now we are going to calculate the area of the semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius. So therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be simply this area pi r square and I'm going to divide it by 2 and in our case uh, the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is 6 units. So therefore uh, this semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, 6 uh, whole square. So the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 18 times pi. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, sector AOC. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 
360 degrees times pi r square and in our case our radius r is 6 units and our angle theta is 60 degrees. So therefore uh, the area of the sector AOC is going to be 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times our radius uh, is 6 uh, whole square. And we can see this 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to give us 1 divided by 6 and uh, 6 square is going to give us uh, 36 as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore the area of this sector AOC turns out to be 6 times pi. And finally we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, OBC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle C. As you can see in this uh, triangle we got these two side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. So therefore uh, for this uh, triangle uh, OBC our two side lengths are uh, 6 uh, and 6 uh, and our angle in between is 120 degrees. So therefore I can write uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 6 uh, times 6 uh, times uh, sine of uh, 120 degrees. And now we can see that sine of 120 degrees equal to square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I am going to substitute this uh, sine of 120 degrees value which is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 9 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore the area of this triangle OBC turns out to be 9 times square root of 3. And now let's recall once again this uh, equation green shaded area equals to the sector AOC area plus the area of the triangle OBC. And here we already figured out uh, our sector AOC area and the area of the triangle OBC. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So this is going to be 6 uh, pi plus uh, 9 times the square root of uh, 3. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, red shaded uh, region. And let's recall this equation once again. Red shaded area is going to be equal to the semicircle area minus this uh, green shaded area. And we already figured out our semicircle area as 18 times pi. And here's our green shaded area as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we got uh, 18 times uh, pi minus uh, 6 uh, pi plus uh, 9 times uh, square root of uh, 3. If we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 12 times uh, pi minus uh, 9 times square root of 3 square units. So thus the red shaded area turns out to be 12 times pi minus 9 times square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 22.11 uh, square units as well by using our very first uh, method. And now I am going to show you the second method. And now let's recall this equation and let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, red shaded area is going to be equal to the area of the sector OBC. We are talking about this uh, whole uh, sector OBC area minus uh, the area of the triangle uh, OBC. We are talking about uh, this uh, triangle uh, OBC. And we have already figured out this triangle uh, OBC area as 9 times the uh, square root of 3. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, sector OBC. And now we are going to calculate the area of the sector OBC. And now let's recall once again the area of a sector formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square. And in our case our angle theta is 360 degrees and our radius uh, is uh, 6. So therefore the area of the sector OBC is going to be 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi times uh, r is 6 uh, whole square. And here we can see 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to give us uh, one third 
and 6 square is going to give us uh, 36 as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 12 times uh, pi so thus the area of this sector OBC turns out to be 12 times pi and here's our final step let's recall this uh, equation once again we are going to calculate the area of the red shaded region and that is going to be equal to sector OBC area minus uh, the triangle uh, OBC area as well and here's our sector OBC area and here's our triangle uh, OBC area as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got uh, 12 uh, pi minus uh, 9 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and here we got the very same answer by using the second method uh, as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye